In this video, we're going to establish circuit terminology, and we're going to look at the five pieces you need to make a simple circuit up. You need a source voltage, which will be a power and a ground. There's a 13 volt DC tap here, and a ground tap down here. Now, in this case, this trainer board has the power at the top and the ground at the bottom to somewhat mimic a wiring diagram. In most cases, you look at the top for power and the bottom for a ground. And uh, it also is easy to kind of floor projects from top to bottom. Uh, think of this as a positive post of the battery. Think of this as a ground post of the battery. So that takes care of our source voltage. Then we need circuit protection and a control device. And so we'll use module A, which includes a automotive style blade fuse, which will be a circuit protection, and a simple on off toggle switch, which we use to uh, control our load. All right, um, now we need a, a load, and we use a marker light. This is an automotive style marker light. And then we need to have some conductors to carry the electricity. So we'll start at the top, bring in 13 volt DC. We we'll always go through a circuit protection first because between the positive post of battery and the first circuit protection device, this is an unprotected area. If this were to get to ground in an automotive, like a wreck or any type of automotive issue, servicing issue, this gets to ground, this wire here would uh, actually have unlimited current, so to speak, and it would burn, it would actually create a potential for fire. So we need to come through the fuse, through the switch, and come on around, and it doesn't matter on a bulb, a bulb is a uh, it has no polarity, which way, it doesn't matter which way the current flows through the bulb, it's going to work. So we'll come in, come out of the bulb, and complete the circuit by going to ground. We saw the light just come on, the switch is all on here. So we have all the pieces we need here to make a simple circuit. We have our source voltage, a power, and a ground, circuit protection first, in this case, control devices here. We'll see in later videos, the control device could be over here. In this uh, situation, we're going to call this a power control of the circuit because the control device is on the power side, which is this side. Then we come through a load, in this case, a marker light. This could also represent a motor or a starter motor, a fan motor, a horn, a solenoid, anything like that that consumes power and then our conductors. Looking at some further terminology, what we have right here is a closed circuit because between the, po the positive post and the negative post, I have a circuit that is complete and closed and has a path of current to flow, therefore it works. So it's called a closed circuit. It is also can be uh, referred to as a series circuit in that the fuse, the switch, the light is all in series with each other. And when that happens, uh, all the current flowing through this part of the circuit is flowing everywhere. And if I want to turn this light off, I have to go to an open circuit. I can open the circuit at any point, and the load stops. In this case, light goes out. I could do the switch, come down here on the ground side. Anywhere I create an open circuit, the load quits working. Uh, often in a time, of, often in a car and other electrical devices, this is in fact is what happens. You have an open circuit. Uh, often we hear by say well, they have a short circuit. This seems to be a word that's thrown right around a lot among consumers, and often they don't know what they have. But a short circuit would be different than an open circuit. An open circuit, remember, opens up the circuit so the current cannot flow, and all the current stops everywhere in the circuit. I could create a short circuit by going from this side of the load to ground. I will not do that because if I plug this in right now, if you look, I've completed a circuit from power through the fuse, through the switch. I've completed a closed circuit that has no resistance. If I plug that in, we'll blow this fuse or worst case scenario, damage the power supply. And in real simplistic terms here, 
you have to have resistance in the circuit to control the current in the circuit. Uh, this bulb right here is the only load device in this circuit. So the filament here is designed or has resistance that controls the current down to probably less than a quarter of an amp. Uh, it, it is resistance to that bulb that ultimately is controlling the current at this level it is right now. So when I come from here to ground, I create a circuit with no resistance and the current would uh, go up out of control and blow this fuse right here. This is all for the video one. We just want to make sure we talked about the correct terminology. Uh, use this in the class, use this in the field, and it will make you look professional because you know what you're talking about.